Should you buy a Walmart branded USB SSD? Will it survive heavy use like big file transfers or being used as a boot drive for Windows? Stay tuned as we find out. Welcome back. At Tech Autos, we do reviews of the latest tech gadgets and automotive products. If you're new to our channel, consider subscribing. Today we're unboxing and reviewing the 250GB version of the ONN Portable SSD. This is model 1000-22778 and it comes in a 500GB version as well. We purchased this at full retail price from Walmart, see the link in the description below. ONN is Walmart's in-house electronics brand and typically sells a range of accessories. They also make USB flash drives and such, but we we were surprised to see them step up to the SSD game. This drive is priced at $39.99, which is well below what other similar SSDs cost. 256GB USB 3.0 flash drives cost around the same amount. Some claim to be almost as fast as an SSD, but are priced much higher. At the ONN Drive's $40 price point, the main options are available are generic Chinese SSDs on Amazon and elsewhere, which work fine but have no warranty to speak of, and have some oddities as we experienced in our recent review of one. This drive, by contrast, is backed by a two-year warranty from Walmart. Before we get into the ONN SSD, here's some background on the different form factors of flash memory. There are USB flash drives and memory cards like SD, microSD, compact flash, and others. These tend to use the worst quality of memory and performance the worst. Most of them will give you well under 100 megabytes per second of actual read and write speeds. Then you have SATA SSDs, which come in traditional 2.5 inch, M.2, which is the latest form factor, or MSATA, which is old but smaller than most M.2 drives. The fastest of these can hit around 550 megabytes per second of maximum read and write. Finally, there are PCI Express NVMe SSDs, which typically come in M.2. The most popular is the gumstick looking M.2 2280, which is 80 millimeters long. These can go up to thousands of megabytes per second, but draw more power and produce more heat. Most external USB SSDs tend to be based on SATA. That's because most PCs still have USB ports capped at 5 gigabits per second, which is 625 megabytes per second, so attaching a PCIe SSD would be a waste. Also, many devices' USB ports don't output enough power to drive a PCIe SSD. The ONN drive we're looking at today promises up to 400 megabytes per second read and write, so we're looking at a SATA based drive. The box is fairly compact and colored light green. On the front, we see the 250GB capacity and the promised read and write speeds. On the back, we see that the drive has apparently been drop tested to 1 meter or 3.3 feet and comes with USB C to C and C to A cables 40 centimeters in length or 1.3 feet. These allow you to connect the drive to devices with either USB A or USB C ports. We'll open the box from the top. Inside, we see the drive on one side of the plastic carrier and below a spec sheet and the cables. On the front of this sheet, we see the dimensions 82 by 52 by 11.5 millimeters, or 3.2 by 2.05 by 0.45 inches. The drive is compatible with Windows, Mac OS, Android, and Chrome OS, and has a two-year warranty. The interface is listed as USB 3.2 Gen 1, which is the same thing as USB 3.1 Gen 1, which in turn is the same thing as USB 3.0. It's a 5 gigabit per second interface. Here's the back. Below are the two USB cables, USB-C to A and C to C. The cable tie was a bit loose on the USB-A cable. These cables are pretty well made and are branded with the ONN logo on the connectors, and you can see the 1.3 foot length here. Now onto the SSD itself. On top we see the ONN logo, the model number 1000-22778. The case has a rubberized finish that actually feels pretty nice compared to most hard plastics you find in this space. It does pick up a little bit of fingerprints or finger oils, but it's not bad. We see the USB-C port on the side and nothing on the back. This is an extremely lightweight drive in the hand. In fact, the USB cable might weigh more than the drive itself. Between the lightweight rubberized finish and the rounded edges for a comfortable in-hand feel, this is certainly a great option to carry around in your backpack or purse. We were curious about the included USB C to C cable, so we plugged it into our QA U2 analyzer. Turns out this cable can support USB 3.1 Gen 2 speeds, meaning 10 gigabits per second, and USB power delivery of up to 3 amps, meaning 60 watts. 
Next up is a size comparison. On the far left is a typical USB flash drive. On the far right is a 2.5 inch drive. Second from the left is one of the smallest possible USB enclosures for an mSATA drive. Our ONN drive is most likely using an mSATA drive inside, but is slightly wider and thicker than the metal enclosure just to fit those curves on the edges and add some strength to the plastic chassis. It's still noticeably lighter than the metal one though. When we plug in the drive, we see an XFAT partition with 231GB usable. As with most storage products, there's a gap between the marketing number and the usable space. Here, that's about 19GB worth, because of two different definitions of a gigabyte. Storage manufacturers use the decimal definition, which is 1000MB, whereas the operating system shows the binary definition, which is 1024MB. The binary definition is technically now called a gigabyte with a B. Looking at Chip Genius, we see the ONN drive's vendor ID is 090C, which indicates the SSD controller is made by Silicon Motion Inc. or SMI, though we don't have a model number. Now it's time to put the drive through its paces. Starting with the synthetic tests, in Crystal Diskmark, we were impressed by the sequential read and write speeds of roughly 450 megabytes per second, which actually exceeded Walmart's promised 400 megabytes per second. The random access performance is less notable, but still much better than a USB flash drive. For reference, here's what an internal PCIe SSD does. This is a 1 terabyte Samsung PM961 in our Microsoft Surface Book 2 test PC. Some of the latest desktop PCIe 4.0 SSDs are twice as fast. But of course, that's not what this ONN external drive is about. More relevant is what speeds we can get on a USB 3.0 flash drive that costs about as much as this ONN SSD. So as you can see, the ONN drive is significantly faster throughout. Next, we did some real-world file transfer testing. After some small file testing, we used a 19.6 gigabyte file and transferred it between our internal Samsung PM961 and the ONN drive. The first transfer was a full write of the file onto the drive. Here we saw speeds of over 300 megabytes per second sustained until around 11 gigabytes were transferred, then the rate dropped to 120 megabytes per second, where it stayed to the end. We initially suspected thermal throttling, as that's quite common in USB SSDs and flash drives, but the ONN drive was cool to the touch, and the speed it dropped down to was a constant 120 megabytes per second, as opposed to something lower. We immediately repeated the same write operation and saw the same 120 megabyte per second rate essentially held constant for the whole transfer. Next, we waited for some time and repeated the same operation again. Again, we saw the same pattern 300 megabytes per second up to a point, and then 120 megabytes per second seemingly indefinitely. The pattern seems to be in line with some buffering or caching rather than thermal throttling. Immediately after the last write operation, we began a read operation of the same file size from the disk. That showed a read speed of over 300 megabytes per second for the entirety of the file. An immediate repeat of the same operation produced the same result, consistent read speeds peaking at over 370 megabytes per second. So in sum, we're able to get sustained reads of over 300 megabytes per second. Most writes are also above 300 megabytes per second, but if you transfer very large files, you may encounter the 120 megabyte per second speed more often. Next, we connected the ONN SSD to an Android phone, a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus, via a USB-C to C cable. We were able to to use it without issue. For our next test, we wanted to see if the ONN SSD could serve as a boot drive. This is not a typical use case for external drives in most PCs, but one place it is, is for the $35 Raspberry Pi 4 mini PC board. Raspberry Pis normally rely on a slow micro SD reader, so booting from a USB SSD can significantly boost performance. We installed full-blown desktop Windows 10 on ARM on the ONN SSD using the Windows on Raspberry Pi project. For instructions on how to do this, see the link in the description below. The whole process was completed much faster than with even the fastest Samsung micro SD cards we used, and the experience using the desktop is dramatically better. It's night and day. Armed with the ONN SSD, some settings tweaks, and an easy overclock to 2 GHz, this $35 PC actually becomes a respectable Windows PC. Overall, we were surprisingly satisfied with the ONN Portable SSD. The performance is definitely up to spec for most use cases, the physical design and build are great, and the price point is much lower than other options in the market that carry a US warranty. If you'd like to pick one up from Walmart, check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and post any comments or questions below.